Hello, I'm John Glenn. I'm the director of License to Kill. Yeah, this we shot in Key West, Florida, with the help of the Coast Guard, and also a few bits of um, improvisation in terms of equipment. Uh, Timothy Dalton was very game about working underneath a helicopter with the blades going around, what have you, and we were hoisting him up. And he's very athletic and extremely enthusiastic, and that was great. This is um, a helicopter belonging, brand new helicopter with a British pilot, strangely enough. And they gave me a lift home from a location one day and frightened the life out of me, which is what they, exactly what they intended to do. Testing some equipment there with uh, cameras, semi-submerged. We usually use a plastic bag over an Aeroflex. It seems to work pretty well. These are nice shots of the unit speeding home after a day's work. And here we see um, Timothy Dalton doing um, barefoot skiing, water skiing. This scene where um, Felix and Bond parachute in for the wedding, as they've been on the operations up to this point, uh, we had a terrific cooperation. And they had to remove the power lines from above so we could uh, crane the actors in. And uh, the boys actually jumped into this space as well, which was wonderful. B.J. Worth, as usual. This is interesting, this is Remy Julian's team. This was a device that John Richardson attached to the side of the truck um, so that uh, if it didn't work with his expert driver, uh, we would um, have to use. But as you can see, we didn't need it. His, uh, his expert driver arrived and um, performed admirably. I mean, such skill, unbelievable. And how that didn't fall over, I don't know. And then we went one further and we put the, um, the tank on the back of it as well. And he managed to do it with the tank on the back as well. So in all events, we were able to do it freely without using any devices. The skill of these, some of these French drivers is amazing. I mean, it's one thing doing those sort of wheelies with a car, but to do it with a, I don't know, a 10 ton truck is, something quite new. I think that's probably the whole secret of the Bond films. They, they have to be original, and we have some really original stuff in this. This explosion um, at Rumoroso, it's above Mexico City, and uh, uh, there's quite a history to this place. Uh, rather spooky, actually. Here's our crew fixing the camera up at, at, um, in Mexicali. It's a beautiful location. It was just above uh, Mexicali City, about five miles out, up on very on the mountain range. 
And I don't think they'd ever seen such an assembly of vehicles as they saw with us. We must have had 10, 10 of these trucks, all costing about $100,000 each. And I think we wrote about seven of them off. Uh, one ran away one evening on its own accord and crashed off the precipice. Fortunately, no one was hurt. But we were lucky that um, we had this three-mile section of road to ourselves. We could cordon it off. Uh, they'd bypassed it because it was so dangerous, and it was perfect for our filming. Very rugged landscape. Uh, many, many shots go into the making of, a, of an action scene like this. This was probably one of the longest action scenes I've ever been associated with. Um, there was so much went on. It was so full of action from beginning to end. Barbara Broccoli was a producer on this. It was her first real effort of uh, producing on her own, and uh, she did an admirable job because it was like a major film. It was like shooting a separate film altogether. Malcolm, the camera operator. Timothy showed terrific uh, nerve on this. So we had three days with Timothy down there. I came and left the unit in Mexico City shooting at Cherubusco Studios. Um, what trust I have. <laughs> and I came down and directed Timothy and uh, Carrie Lowell and Robert Darby in the sequence. And it was three days well spent. These uh, vehicles, um, quite unforgiving if uh, they get out of control. Carrie is a lovely girl and a uh, terrific action actress and uh, very, very beautiful. Well, I wouldn't call Robert Darby beautiful, but he was very, very effective. <laughs> That's the beauty of having a piece of road that you own, if you like, for the time of the shooting. And Terry Madden in the foreground there was the uh, first assistant director on the second unit. And George there, stills man. He was generally the stills man on the second unit. I used all the, all the crew from the second unit doing my stuff with uh, the main actors. And very good they were too. When we exploded the truck, um, we gave Timothy what we considered to be a safe point to start running when we started the explosion going. And uh, Timothy started running and uh, when he looked up, all the camera boys were running as well. It was so hot and uh, most of us lost the hair off our legs. We were wearing shorts. Not a very good idea. And this building is beautiful. It's a, um, a house belonging to um, Baron Portanova on the Acapulco Bay. Unbelievable in its um, beauty. It's um, got a heliport on the roof, as you can see, and down below there's a, a lounge with a swimming pool, huge swimming pool, which merges with the white marble that surrounds it, and also Acapulco Bay in the background, and it's the most incredible effect when the light's in the right place. You can see how gorgeous it is. It's um, a beautiful setting. And the Baron was a, a friend of, um, of Cubby Brockles and uh, extended every facility to him. On this occasion, we used Raymond Bravo, who was a Mexican underwater cameraman, and his crew. And the underwater scenes were done in Cancun. Um, Raymond was uh, quite a fine, he was a brilliant cameraman. Um, he had a house in Cancun, which so he was very familiar with that territory. And uh, when we did the scene where Felix Leiter was savaged by the shark, he even used a, a one-legged diver and put a false leg on him and had the shark <laughs> cut his leg off, which we had to remove for the sensor, needless to say. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Debbie, and here's today's daily fact. James Bond is an all-round action hero. But did you know that his character was the inspiration behind Indiana Jones? George Lucas, the creator of the franchise, was so inspired by the British spy that he created his own daredevil, portrayed by Harrison Ford. Remember to click below to subscribe, tap the notification bell or on the side for more great content.